And here's how to make the head of the butterfly made with a split ring. So you have your lock chain, which you've completed with the nice thick part of it here. You're going to wrap around the back first of the butterfly and back to the front so that the decorative pretty part is on top. And now we are going to make the split ring. You do not need those two extra threads anymore, so you can just move them to the back and ignore them for now. Wrap with your shuffle to make the first half of the split ring. Two stitches, one, two, join to the uh, tiny pico here. And three more stitches, one, two, three. And now we're going to make the second half with the loose bit of thread. I'm going to move these two out of the way here. I'm going to cut it a bit shorter to make it easier. Fold the wings back out of the way again to access the other side of the split ring. So in reverse order. Oops. One, two, second stitch, first half, second half. And now we're going to join to the tiny pico. I'm going to use my shuttle from the other side. Pull the loop from the thread that's wrapped around your hand and pass the loose thread through it like so. Tighten it and pull it a bit till it pops through. Yeah, you want to make sure it's this thread that's looped around the thread around your hand so that you can move it and close the ring afterwards. So that's the first half of the third stitch. So we need three more. One, two. So it is completed. Close the ring. And then you can just cut these two threads long enough for antennas, antennas, and how do I use that word? Something like that. And there's the head of your butterfly and the pretty body there in the middle. And these two threads here can just be cut, actually. I don't um, sew them in or anything. I just cut them quite close to the work, and uh, it's fine. There you go. See you next time. Bye-bye.